Hi, this is Heather from Especially Paper. Lately, I've been experimenting with alcohol ink on crepe paper, specifically using it for paper flowers. So I'm going to share some tips and techniques for using alcohol ink with crepe paper. So the colors I'm using today are from the Ranger um, brand. And I've got a couple of packs that I bought as well as a, a single pack. So here are the colors here. And I'm using an ivory Italian made crepe paper. So I'm just going to kind of touch the edge of the alcohol ink applicator to the edge of the crepe paper. And the crepe paper is just going to soak it up and kind of wick it into the paper. So that was the meadow color. This is lettuce. It's just a little bit more yellow than meadow, but they are very similar. Dandelion, and I use dandelion a lot for flower centers. This next one is called slate. So I actually haven't used this color a lot myself. I tend to use the greens and the yellow more, um, but it was part of a set that I purchased. This is eggplant, a very blue, dark purple. Um, Current has a bit more red in it, a bit more truer purple, but still fairly dark. And then cranberry has more red in it than the current. So there's the, the range of colors that I'm showing today. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to actually use alcohol inks with crepe paper flowers. So the first technique I'll share is crepe paper fringe. We're going to color the crepe the same exact way that I did in the previous step. So I've got a strip of ivory crepe paper. It's about an inch and a half wide, but that really depends on the size of the flower you're making. So the wider the strip, the larger the fringe, the larger the flower. And now that I've added the color, I'm going to fold the crepe paper so that I can cut the fringe into the edge. So I'm cutting about two thirds of the way into the strip of fringe. Once you've cut the fringe, take each strip of cut fringe and twist it between your thumb and forefinger. That kind of rounds the strip, kind of creates an interesting texture. I actually don't make this style of fringe a lot myself. I, in general, don't have the patience to do this and all those little strips, but it does make a really nice looking center. This is what it looks like once it's rolled up. The more strips you add, of course, the larger center you'll have. Here's one more example using alcohol inks with crepe paper. Crafting variegated leaves. This is a square of Italian-made ivory crepe paper folded in half diagonally. Open and use the fold as a guide to cut the square in half. Turn one half so that the grain of the crepe paper is opposite to the other side, like the veins in a leaf. Using the same technique used previously, add color to the inner edge of the triangle. I'm using two colors of the Ranger inks. I'm starting with lettuce. Just touch the tip to the edge so that the paper soaks up the color. Let it dry, then add a few touches of meadow green. Once the alcohol ink dries, add a line of craft glue along the inner edge and attach the second half. This is definitely easier to work with if you set it aside at this point to dry completely, but for this tutorial, I'm going to continue working. Place a thin wire along the edge to use as a guide and create a small fold along the inner seam. 
So just fold the edge over that wire. Now you can cut out the shape of the leaf. I'm just freehanding it. Certainly you can use a template if you prefer. Now add a generous line of glue in the crease. Then place the end of the wire in the crease and fold. Place the wire so that there is a little wire-free gap at the end of the leaf and be sure to place the wire so that the long end, the stem, is on the bottom end of the leaf. Again, the preferred method here would be to leave this to dry completely at this stage, but I'm going to go ahead and open the leaf. And then you can bend the wire to create a little bit of curve in the leaf. If you'd like to try alcohol inks, you can find a link to the ones I use in the description below. For paper flower templates, tutorials, and other paper crafts, visit especiallypaper.com.